everyone and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel Mr. B Diz Electronics. So in this video I'll be showing off these DIY TWS speakers which are based on these cheap AirPods knockoff headphones. Uh, I've taken the circuit out of these to make this work. So it's a very easy project and very DIY friendly and it sounds very sweet. Uh, so let's not waste any more time and dive into the video. First there will, be, there will be a very short montage of the different circuits or the different parts that are being used and then I'll open it up and show it to you and there is also the sound test as usual. So let's get on with it. So this is the circuit board from inside the TWS i7 headphones. So this is one of those and in the same way I'll be preparing the other one also. And this is a quick view of the different solder points on the board. Here as you can see I am using TP4056 charging circuits or charging boards for both providing the battery power as well as for charging the 18650 battery cells that I am showing here right now. So this is the TP4056 completed with the battery connected to it and the white and the black wires are coming from the output and are connected to both the BT board as well as to the amplifier board. So these are the two cheap uh, tactile on off switches that I am using to cut off the power supply to both the amplifier as well as to the TWS Bluetooth receivers. So this works as a master switch which cuts off the whole power supply. And this is the amplifier of the choice. Uh, these are taken out of those 5 volt USB uh, laptop speakers that you get for cheap from the market and these are the three main boards that I'm using in this build. So these boards are very handy because they can run both from 5 volt up to battery power. So these are quite efficient and these are class D amplifiers so I am able to run it off of 18650 batteries very easily. And I tend to use this in this build because they were simply lying around and uh, both the boards that I'm using for the two speakers one of the channels is blown out as you can see uh, from this uh, is that one of the chip is actually damaged if you can make it out there is a big hole so that is why I'm using one of the channel because the TWS speakers are itself mono so I'll be just plugging into the left or the right whichever is working during these DIY builds, I urge you to test at each and every moment to see that it works. So here I just turned on the master switch and then I held the switch on the TWS board and as you can see it's working. So this is how the cabinet looks on the inside and how much space I have to put everything in it. And this is the finished result. As you can see, it looks quite professional in my opinion. Uh, the front looks almost untouched. 
and you can't actually make out anything that there are circuits and batteries on the inside so that was my goal to keep it as stock uh, in appearance as possible while making it functional also this is the top down view of the device itself and there is the toggle on of master switch and just beside it there is a multifunction button which i extended from the circuit board of the TWS uh, BT receiver basically as it's on the inside and you cannot reach inside uh, the device each and every time to turn it on so I simply extended that switch and this is a view from the back here if you are observant enough you can see a small notch just below the speaker terminals I'll get to that in a little bit the speakers also came with detachable legs as you can see over here. Now let's address the issue of which TWS headphone that you should choose for these type of projects. So these are some of the various options that you can have on the market. These are all fairly cheap except that black one and uh, Apple AirPods. Those were just there for reference. I would urge you not to use those, those are very really costly. This is the one I chose. These are the i7 TWS AirPods knockoff. Why I chose this is because each of the headphone has a tactile switch on the back to turn it on and off. And each of the speaker has one of those on the inside as you already saw earlier. And this is similarly another option that you can have. These are the i9 TWS. These don't have the tactile switches, but these have touch sensitive buttons on the back, which in my experience were really hard to uh, rewire with a button. So I would urge you not to go this route, uh, but these have those AirPods pop up also on your iPhone. So these can be fairly sophisticated. I have another project in my mind with these. So subscribe for more. And here I have opened one of the speakers and as you can see that is the size of the speaker driver that I am using. And this is a quick view on the inside as you can see I have hot glued the amplifier to one of the side. And this is another zoomed up view as you can see I have also written only R so as I already told earlier only the right channel is working on these amplifiers. And this is the 18650 battery powering the device. And there is the i7 TWS circuit board hot glued into place and it is on as you can see it is blinking blue and those two yellow wires from the back of the switch has been extended so that we can use it to turn it on and off as well as play pause and other things to this little uh, switch which is mounted on a little circuit board which I have salvaged from a broken piece of electronics also. And right at the back over there you can see the TP4056 charging module. And this is how you charge the device. The TP4056 have inbuilt LEDs, red for charging and blue for fully charged. Here I am showing the charging of the device using a very special type of power bank. And this is a DIY power bank that I will be featuring in one of my future videos so comment for it. Uh, this has a fair few tricks up its sleeve and it has got special features for your iPhone 12 users with the MagSafe charging technique so comment below and also don't forget to like share and subscribe too
So that concludes today's video. I hope you like what you saw and if that's the case consider subscribing, like, share and comment on this video. We are 300 subscribers strong and all thanks to all of you my viewers. It really encourages me and this build was a long time in the making. It was it is a very old build uh, but uh, due to certain circumstances I uh, I'm able to make this video after a very long time so sorry for the delay and also if you want to know about this little build uh, this is a JBL pulse uh, type of build uh, comment in the comment section also that you want to see this and I'll bring it to you in the future videos and thanks again to all of you for your utmost support so meet you on the next one peace